Hi, I'm Peter Wilcock. I'm director of Operation Get Active. We are a program here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're a part of the Chattanooga Football Club Foundation. Operation Get Active was started back in 2016. And we started this program because we had a big lack of after-school activities, specifically sport ones, in our elementary schools across the city. So we started our program, after-school program, twice a week, and it runs for 10 weeks in the spring and in the fall and it's for grades uh, three, four, and five for girls and boys. Uh, we've grown this program. This fall, we're gonna be reaching up to 24 elementary schools. We also do some work with the children and adults with disabilities, and we also recently started a new program for group home residents who are suffering and recovering from mental health. Hi, I'm Julian Ramirez, the coaching director for Operation Get Active. So we accredited our huge success to our awesome coaching staff. They do a fantastic job with the kids. So we host a mid-season uh, mid tournament, and it's in tournament is an awesome opportunity for these kids to come and play one another from all across the city. At the end of these tournaments, we always give out an awesome jersey for these kids to keep as a big thank you for being in our program. Hi, I'm Maria Suglineri. I'm the coaching and event coordinator for Operation Get Active. We have many partners within the community. One of our biggest partners is the YMCA. We partner with them and their mobile fit program to provide meals for all of our participants. We also partner with the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga to run research projects for our program. One, pro uh, one research project that we ran uh, measured the impact that OGA has on the participants and found that OGA participants are more physically active than non-OGA participants. Hello, my name is Jose Ramirez and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Operation Get Active. As you can see, Operation Get Active has met some of the needs of the community, but just like other organizations, it has its challenges. For example, we struggle with transportation, language barrier, and also female participation. Transportation hinders some of the opportunities and abilities for some of the students to participate in the weekly sessions just as much in the big events, such as the tournaments. Language barriers, as we deal with a diverse community, specifically our Latino community, we have a hard time sometimes communicating with students and parents alike. And lastly, uh, female participation, we, our goal is to have 50-50 uh, 50 females and 50 males in school, but we struggle to get that sometimes as much as in our staff as well. But thank you for watching our video and thank you for your time.